police have arrested the alleged shooter and seized an assault rifle over a dramatic chain of events which unfolded in the early hours of Sunday 9th of July 2023. Three people broke into a heavy haulage trucking facility in early morning around 5.30 a.m. and stole two Kenworth tow trucks at Technical Drive in Craigieburn. The facility belonged to Hells Angels' Peter Schizo Hewitt. Peter Hewitt is a senior bikey and a well-known figure in Melbourne's bikey world. He is a heavyweight sergeant-at-arms for the Hells Angels East County chapter and is known to be linked to the tow trucking industry in Victoria and operates the company by the name of Heavy Haulage Towing Australia. The company has his daughter Sky and son Bo, named as directors. After entering the trucking compound, the trio unlocked and somehow started up a big Kenworth tow rig and a smaller truck with an excavator on the back and drove off. However CCTV and the sensors linked to the security systems alerted Hewitt, who received urgent notifications on his phone. The two trucks which costed close to a million dollars, also had GPS tracking systems installed, which was also connected to Hewitt's phone. This meant that the bikey could easily see where the trucks were at. On receiving the notifications on his phone, the Hells Angels bikey took immediate action, and gave chase, he pursued one of the trucks to Mickleham around 13 kilometers from where it was stolen. While his staff alerted the police and gave location of the second truck, Hewitt was successful in stopping the truck that he chased, in Rose Hill Boulevard. The chase would have lasted 20 minutes. When Hewitt confronted the driver, who was armed with a gun, panicked, and exited the truck, simultaneously firing two shots towards the bikey. These shots missed Hewitt, leaving him unharmed and the thief then drove off. A police helicopter then tracked the second truck to Roxborough Park, where it was intercepted by members from Broadmeadows Police Station. This truck was also abandoned and culprits had fled the scene. The reasons behind the thieves' actions with stealing the truck are unclear. However, reports suggest that their main aim was to damage Hewitt's business, and it's certain they knew exactly who they were targeting. This incident seems like a deliberate and targeted attack, planned to cause harm and create fear. Using the stolen trucks wouldn't make sense. Despite their value, finding a buyer for such specific and recognizable items would be difficult. Additionally, there was a risk of Hewitt actively searching for anyone trying to sell his property, which could lead to serious consequences. The theft of the trucks wasn't for financial gain but rather as a way to harm the business and its owners. Peter Hewitt, who frequently performs towing work on Melbourne's roads, is not listed on corporate documents for the company Heavy Haulage Towing Australia. Instead, his daughter Sky and son Bo are named as directors, although it's widely known within bikey circles who holds the real influence. Within 12 hours, Victoria Police took swift action and the suspected shooter, Cater Ella Lee, 35, of Glenroy, was arrested by the officers from the Special Operations Group. A raid of his home uncovered weapons including an AR-15 assault rifle, a World War II Thompson submachine gun, a handgun, a gel blaster and ammunition. Investigators also seized, false registration plates, various amounts of a crystal substance, GHB, methylamphetamine, prescription medication and IDs in various names. He was charged with offenses including reckless conduct endangering life, using a firearm when a firearm prohibition order applies, possessing a firearm when an FPO applies, two counts of committing an indictable offense while on bail, trafficking methylamphetamine, trafficking 1,4 butane dial and two counts of theft of a motor vehicle. This was despite Ellie being subject to a firearm prohibition order, which prohibits him from acquiring, possessing or carrying a firearm. Officers also found a locked pick gun, pick pieces and detonation cords. He faces 60 charges including theft of a motor vehicle, reckless conduct endangering life, using a firearm in a public place, using a firearm in a dangerous manner and possessing a firearm. The second truck driver Joseph Callot of Meadow Heights and a woman were also arrested in Craigieburn. Callot is understood to be charged with theft of a motor vehicle. They will return to court for a contested hearing on March 4 next year. Hells Angels Sergeant at Arms Peter Schizo Hewitt, 69, is a notorious Hells Angels elite member, from its East County chapter, who has a long criminal rap sheet. Schizo embarked on his journey with the Hells Angels at a young age, swiftly climbing the ranks due to his ruthless nature, his line of work and strategic mindset. Hewitt's criminal notoriety not only landed him to legal troubles but also propelled him into media spotlight many times. His larger-than-life persona and audacious criminal exploits have graced numerous news headlines.
In 2013, Hewitt faced a multitude of charges, including aggravated burglary and assault. These charges arose from a dispute over the ownership of a dog, culminating in a physical altercation where a grandmother was assaulted during a disagreement concerning his lost dog. In the same year, he stole a Kenworth Prime mover valued at $150,000 from Craigie Byrne, leading to his arrest on charges such as theft of a tow truck, possession of stolen goods, possession of steroids, possession of weapons and ammunition, and threatening the police. Subsequent to the suspension of his driver's license in 2014, Hewitt confronted 44 counts of driving with a suspended license, backed by CCTV footage obtained from his son's residence. In year 2016, he was once again arrested in Melbourne, where he was found with an aluminum baseball bat under the driver's seat and four tablets of Viagra in his vehicle. Charges included possession of a dangerous article, possession of a Schedule IV poison, and resisting police. Same year, a tow truck affiliated with Hewitt's trucking company, was impounded when the driver tested positive for methamphetamine. A subsequent raid by the anti-bikey task force at Hewitt's company resulted in the arrest of two associates and the seizure of three stolen cars. Hewitt received a 12-month prison sentence after pleading guilty to dealing in $250,000 worth of stolen truck parts. Additionally, his associates were arrested in connection with the shooting of a police facility in Melbourne, where approximately seven shots were fired at the Victoria Police impound lot in Preston. In July 2021, Hewitt's son, Bo Hewitt, faced legal troubles when police discovered 16 pallets of Jack Daniels and cola cans in an alcohol distribution warehouse, linked to a previous theft of 30 pallets. Bo Hewitt received a 40-day imprisonment sentence, credited as time served, and was placed on a three-year community corrections order. In addition to his numerous criminal convictions, Peter Hewitt has a troubling track record of tampering with witnesses, and has been convicted of perverting the course of justice. He has faced accusations of employing intimidation tactics within the towing industry. Notorious for his brazen approach, Hewitt is alleged to have confronted competitors in Hells Angels colors, creating an atmosphere of fear and dominance in the trucking business. With a life characterized by crime, controversy, and an unwavering allegiance to the Hells Angels, Peter Schizo Hewitt remains a multifaceted and enigmatic figure in the ever-evolving narrative of motorcycle club subculture. And it will be interesting to see how he goes about seeking retaliation against rivals who attempted to sabotage his business by stealing his trucks.